Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video I'm going to be looking at my team setup for the Double Game Week 27. But before that, let's just have a quick look at Game Week 26 and see how well my team has performed. As you can see, 107 points, I activated the bench boost. And as you can see, minus 8, so that's 99 points above the average of 75. And in the top 10k, it's around 82, so really happy with that. The overall rank went from 170,000 to 120,000 there. So really, really close to that top 100k. Um, what, like, I already spoke to you guys about the strategies that I have in mind. Um, I think the best strategy for my FPL team is to bank the transfer. Because if there are some announcements for the game week 28 of being a double game week, then I have two free transfers to make the moves to get the players that I want and kind of set my team up for that. Um, my plan is to get around eight to nine um, players for the blank game week 29 and I'm on course for that, so that's good. So that is the plan, I thought I'll let you guys know. I already created a lot of videos about this um, before I'll mention it. But yeah, let's have a quick look at the team and let's see how well they performed. Now, the main target and the main pl player that I really wanted was Harry Kane. And to do that move, I removed Mitchell, who didn't play, Antonio, who scored the goal, and I removed Salah. So I had to make a sacrifice. It was either Salah or Fernandez. Fernandez's uh, ownership is too high, so I thought I'll go for Salah. Salah didn't return as well. And uh, the players that I bought in is Harry Kane. Um, that got me a return. Look at Dean. Look at that. 14 points there. Uh, it's a big differential. And I bought in Barnes. Um, it was on form, but unfortunately he got himself injured. And he's out for a number of weeks. So it's a shame there. And as you can see, the bench... I'm base, I basically bench boosted the Leeds United players that got me 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And let's just say I swapped my goalkeepers around. Nick Pope there. So what's that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 points there. Just basically gained 2 additional more points. The bench boost paid off my hit. So that's it really. So happy days though. Really happy. Pope with 4. Cancelo with 2. one Bissaka with 12. 2 clean sheets there. Uh, Look at Dean with 14, fantastic there, massive differential for me. Stones with 10, Fernandez with 6, Gundogan with 6, Son with uh, 14, Harry Kane as my captain, 16, Bamford with 2, Cavard Lewin with 4, Martinez with 12, Dallas with 2, Rafinha with 2, and Barnes with 1. So that was my team, really, really happy guys. Um, and as you can see, this is my team set up for the double game week 27. Now, as for my team, I really want to bank the transfer because if I do that, then I have two free transfers for game week 28. However, I do have some couple of options like transfers for my team to make it more stronger for this game week. I think there are a couple of players in my team that I don't think they're going to return points this game week. So I'm a little bit concerned, but I do have a few other players that could do really well. So it's like half and half. Uh, and my main goal is to kind of like get the average score just to maintain this rank and then go again and attack it in game week 28 and at least survive for game week 29. And in game week 29, I should have around nine single game week players and they're going to be the main players anyway that a lot of people are going to have. So we'll see. Well, we might get some announcements very soon. You never know. We might not. Who who knows, right? So I'm just going to hold my transfer until the deadline. So I'll let you guys know. So as you can see, you've got Martinez in goal against Wolves. Okay, that's a, that's a good option there. We've got Cancelo, Stones, and Gundogan. Um, they've got a double there. Manchester United at home and Southampton at home. Now, I am not expecting three of these players playing both of the games. However, if any of these players plays both of those games, there's a high chance for them to return big. Gunduan had a rest, so he played only eight minutes, so he's going to be my captain in the last game. Um, Cancelo only played one of the double game um, fixtures there, so and that goes for Stones as well. And to be honest with you, both or three of these players could play both of these games. And if they do play the second game, that's just going to be bonus. 
So that's why I'm going with Gundogan as my captain. Um, as you can see, the Tottenham players here against Crystal Palace is definitely going to help me out to bring in the points. However, if I look around, I've got Luka Dean and, and Calvert Lewin against Chelsea. Clean sheet. There's always a possibility, you know, Chelsea's not really attacking. You know, they're not really scoring a lot of goals. So I'm a bit concerned with Calvert Lewin. So I could bench him. And yeah, as you can see, you've got Rafinha and Banford. The Leeds United against uh, West Ham away. It's going to be difficult for them, right? But they've got the potential to bring some points. So we will see what happens there. And I want to make this team a little bit better for Game Week 27. I don't think it is that... I don't think it's the best. I think I could make it better. Um, as you can see, I do have one Bissaka. I do have Dallas so I can use. Or... I can remove Barnes and bring in a midfielder to kind of strengthen this team up and like bench Cabot Lewin. So I can do all these things, guys. You guys let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, that is my team. That is my setup. I made no transfers yet. Uh, I'm definitely, th I think I'm around like 70% chance that I'm going to bank the transfer. The other 30%. You know, if I bench Cavalouin as an example, I can remove Barnes. Now, if Jack Grealish was like fit and ready, maybe I could have saved my transfer and, you know, bring him in the next game week. I can do that as well. You know, I definitely, I'm definitely looking at that. I can go ahead and attack the game week by bringing Will Prowse if I wanted to, but they don't have a fixture here. But a decent fixture at home against Brighton. And then, you know, if I keep him, another good fixture here uh, for Southampton, for Burnley. So, I think, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm looking ahead as well, right? I'm looking ahead. Uh, Mason Mount could be an option because he's doing really well. You know, he, he's on form and he's, and he's doing really well in the last few game weeks. And like here, the blank game week, right? There's no fixture there. But the fixtures are looking really good. So I'm thinking to myself, do you know what? Why don't I like attack every single game week as much as I can, right? I could do that move. And uh, the other player that I'm looking at is um, Lingard. Yes, I know what you're thinking. What the hell? Wait a minute. Lingard doesn't have a, a fixture here. And, and he doesn't because he can't play against Manchester United. So, you know, but I do have the team. To actually bench him. Um, yeah. I'm having a look guys. Uh, you know. I've got a lot of options. And these options are basically luxury options. To be honest with you. So yeah. That's the kind of the, the thing there. I could remove one of my defenders. Maybe one Basaka Or one of. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Dallas. But one Basaka Like the fixtures as well. And yeah. I mean looking at that. That's not the best fixture there against West Ham. But. Decent here, decent there. So, you know, I am looking ahead, but I'm thinking, okay, if I wild card in game week 31, then I might not have him in my team. Uh, if that's the case, I can bring in Cresswell. I can bring in like a cheaper player like uh, Rudiger here. That is 4.6. Can do something like this, kind of like get this money set up for Jack Grealish and then remove Barnes in game week 28. Ooh. That might be a move, you know. That might be a move. I don't know what you guys think. And then bring Jack Grealish if he is fit and ready for game week 28. And uh, a lot of people's talking about bringing in Kevin De Bruyne, right? And I can understand. He's a fantastic player. I love that player. However, Manchester City players are a risk right now, right? You saw what happened. They rotated. And... And Kevin De Bruyne can be rotated as well. So, you just never know what can happen. And I can try my best to bring it in um, Kevin De Bruyne. But I think I've got other plans. I've got other issues. I've got other things that I've got in mind uh, for the next coming game weeks. So, for now, I'm just going to sit back. I'm just going to hear your thoughts. You guys let me know what you think. And that is pretty much it. Gundogan is going to be my captain. Hurricane as my vice. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Um, subscribe if you're new. And smash that like button. And follow me on Twitter for any kind of updates. 
and that is pretty much it guys i hope that you guys will have a fantastic game week i hope that i have helped you in game week 26 i'm very close to that top 100k um hopefully i can get there this game week but i think all i want to do right now is trying to protect it and go again in game week 28 but we'll see what happens and yeah anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time see ya